Okay, now it's uh, Saturday, December 14, 2013. We're here at the corner of Hollywood and Vine in Hollywood, California. Um, there's an action today that starts at 4 o'clock. Um, it's uh, defend the right to feed the homeless. Um, so it's about 3.30 right now, but I noticed like there's a lot of people over by the uh, metro stop at Hollywood and Vine. And also there's a, about 10 or more LAPD over there, so I'm going to go uh, ahead and uh, walk over there and see what's up. Hey, no guys. I guess I'll, I'll let you know in a second what's going on because you're going to watch a commercial or something. So guys, we're here at Hollywood and Vine. Uh, the action's supposed to start at 4 o'clock, but uh, I see people uh, had headed over there with signs already. And there's a lot of, like, about 10 cops down there, so I'm gonna go down there and see what's up. So a little while ago, well, the cops were all lined up right here with their bicycles, or maybe, but it looks like the cops have moved uh, closer to the metro stop. And there seems to be a crowd gathering over uh, in front of the Hollywood and Five metro stop. So guys, it's about, I think it's around 3.30 right now, and uh, the, this is not supposed to start till 4, but there were on the Facebook invitation over 1,600 people who said they were coming. Hello. <laughs> they said they're arresting people. No one's being arrested. says no to banning feeding the homeless. How many hungry people? 
people equal a millionaire? Yeah, I would like to. I don't know if you know. Taking a picture with the cop. of the metro stop at um, Hollywood and Vine and this action is uh, defend the right to feed the homeless so the guys the action was not supposed to start until 4 o'clock so it's not there's the Pentageous Theater across the street I have an app and action and those people with the uh, orange vests, I usually don't like that. Well, let's see what the orange vests are. I don't like them um, when there's orange vests that action. <laughs> It's never good. <laughs> Hello. What's the, why, why do you have orange vests on? Uh, just so it'll be easier to coordinate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't quite understand what that means, but... We're expecting a little bit of people. So, uh -huh. how are you doing? Nice to see you, brother. Thanks for coming. Uh, well, thank you for clarifying. I really don't understand what you meant. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. How are you? I know you don't know me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> are you with the, the group that organizes? Um, no, I got invited through Facebook. Okay, I was just asking him about the orange vest or why he was wearing an orange vest, and he didn't really understand. He didn't really explain it to me. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I I got invited by um, him, Kimberly. Oh, I love Kimberly so much. And and, and then I I spread the word around on my wall. Yeah, I hope she comes. Yeah, she is. Kimberly's coming and Marco. Okay, yay, I um, love those people. Uh, do you know Walter? I don't know. Yeah. I've met so many people in the last couple of months that I don't remember them all, um, but it's really great to be connected to so many people. But. Hey! <laughs> Now, if you're just joining us here, we're here at Hollywood and Biden in Hollywood, California. This is the uh, this action is to defend the right to feed the homeless. It's uh, the host of the action is Monday Night Mission, and the entertainment has just arrived. Hey now, Hi. how are you doing? I'm so glad to hear. Really, what's going on? 
Um, well, I I was asking one of the guys in the orange vest, like, why he, what was the orange vest for? And he kind of, he just said to help organizing be easy because there's going to be a lot of people here. But that made no sense to me whatsoever, so I tried to, like, let him know that I didn't understand. But he didn't really want to talk to me. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, I wish I could tell you. Well, I kind of already know, but I just want them to say it. They want to police the protesters, and I don't like police and protesters. You don't like police and protesters? No. <laughs> Is he coming? I don't know. Facebook told me 85 of my friends said that they were coming. Yeah. So that means about 20. <laughs> Are you coming tomorrow? The the event I'm hosting is the media Skillshare. Okay. Oh. We need writers. We need like I, I know that you're a writer, and we need more writers to help write articles and stuff well, about about events and actions and. Really. Yeah. Cool. Maybe some other time. <laughs> I'll think about it. I yeah. haven't given it much thought. My mind has been preoccupied. Get the damn camera off me. You <laughs> what? You're being shy today? What? Yes. I haven't been over in LA in, in, in like, like a month, I don't think. Really? Yeah, it's been a minute. But you came today for the Get the People event? Well, I'm homeless sometimes, so. Yeah. I really don't know that much about the bill, so it would be difficult for me to comment on it. But I mean, it's just in a general, like. Yes, of course it's wrong to, to outlaw. Being the homeless. That's that's ridiculous. Oh, there's a guy from Fox News right there. Who, the guy with the tie right there? Yeah. Wow. I'll try to get him. If you want to interview, I'll go. Um. Okay. Who do you want to interview? Fox News. Are you guys here for the protest? Yes. Do you guys need signs? Um, I personally cannot carry a sign. But I don't yeah, know. I have a bad Delta. Muscle something up but here. Thank you for offering. So, I almost thought for a second that was Commander Smith. I know, I did oh, too. I was kind of excited to see him. Yeah. He's my favorite cop. Uh, Sergeant Baker would probably be my favorite cop. I, I try not to keep a list of favorites. Of cops. Oh, okay. It's you know, <laughs> a very small list. And somebody's gonna take my list I'm gonna say Patty Bears loves the cops, like Patty Bears what? Loves the cops. Like what? people I don't know, like Come on, they're, they're human too. I don't know. I mean I think they're robots myself. I think their soul is gone. <laughs> this is the extent of the excitement for the power. So, I need a liquor store. started here, huh? This is going to be it, watch. Nothing else will happen to us. People are just going to stand around and mingle? They're going to mingle all day? Yes. Yes. I don't know. I think there'll be some speakers and some chanting and, like, the same thing that doesn't, like... I'm not feeling that energy there right now. Do you see Alan over here? I don't know. Is he coming? Uh, he told me he was going to be. That's why I'm over here. Yay! My friends usually show up late. That's what I always say. Yeah. Look at Sparklies. Yay. This is the W Hotel sign. That's the uh, Pantages Theater over there. This is the the Metro Hollywood Inn find. I'm a drink beer. But if you offered me wine, I wouldn't say no. But it's like two dollars. Two dollars a beer. Why is beer cheaper than wine? I, and I, you Unless know, it's, it's I walked over to my liquor store today. I was like, damn it, I owe this guy money, so I gave him my ninety cents. Hey, fuck, I was gonna go towards another beer, but I had to give. You better do some backflips and earn some cash. No backflips. I don't do backflips anymore. Oh, that sucks. I retired. No, my knees oh, gave up on me. That sucks. I said no more. I remember you did like a triple backflip downhill at City Hall. That was kind of yes. awesome. Where's Melissa at today? I haven't seen her in ages. I don't like orange vests. Wait, what are they doing in the orange vests? They police the protesters. 
Is that what they're doing? I'm sure that's usually what orange does mean. Except yeah, they're giving them out to anybody. I don't think so. Yeah, I guarantee it. These guys are just getting oranges. Go get one. Go get one. I don't want one. Yeah. We'll just prove your point. No, it draws unnecessary attention. Well, you can always give it back. I'm not saying we're the best. I'm saying just prove your point by getting one. Really? Yeah. Look at that bowl over there. Look at that. Have you heard about Union Station? Or yes, I just I was in there right now. The sitting room? Yes. Did you say it? I can't. You can't even get inside the area without giving them a ticket. Really? Yeah. They got it all rubbed off, and there's a the security guard on one side. She's keeping track. How so. many empty seats are there? A lot. That's so fucked up. Yeah, bad. actually, they half the fucking thing is, is uh, rubbed off, and the other half is not being seated. Can I really not film your face? Huh? Can I really not film your face? Why would you like to? Well, it's I have nothing to say about this event. No, but we can talk about Union Station. Like, okay. I have nothing to say about this event either. I mean, feed the people. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, 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 what? Oh, well, you were telling us about Union Station. Yeah, Union Station is, uh, is, uh, cordon uh coordinated off. Is that right? But, it, it, uh, they're, uh, they roped it off and you can't even get inside that area without a ticket. To say it? Yeah. What if I purchase some California rolls at the Femina? You know, I didn't go over there and ask them if I could have a receipt or something. I think it said ticket. Yeah, it said ticket for people who are waiting. Suppose I wanted to tie my shoe. Uh, it's all wrong. <laughs> I mean, I've sat in Union Station so many times. Like, it just, like, if I'm going from one place to another, like, so many times I've sat in Union Station. Well, uh, you won't be able to anymore. But I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sucks. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe people do feel there's a problem with homeless people preoccupying the seats. You go in there, there's a lot of people falling asleep. Maybe people are passengers are tired of it. I mean, who, if you were a business, like if this was your, if this was your business right here, okay. would, would you rather have? Union station is actually. A public space, yes, funded by taxpayer money, right, including money spent by homeless people. Uh, who? What did the homeless spend money on? Beer, cigarettes, and all that adds up to the sleeping bags. And all that adds up. So there's tax. They, I mean, unhoused people pay tax. Then the tax that they pay goes towards Union Station. So it is not a private That's business, a it's a Everything public is, space. Every, like if I, if I tax something and then put it like one single dime towards the road, that means that you every own single that infrastructure, road. Yes. every, you, you every own single it. piece yes. of infrastructure from this road all the way over to Washington, D.C. somehow belongs to somehow you. Belongs to, to you, Kevin no, Patton. Yes. No. Yes. I know. No, it's not true. It can't so, be true. So that means we might as well have total public everything. Okay. Which is a bad idea because public infrastructure so, can so never be managed how about without... This? How about they say, you know what, Kevin? Uh, there's too many homeless people driving on this road, so we're going to shut it down. Uh, you have to, you can't drive on this road unless you have this special pass that only people with a lot of money can afford. How much money? More than you have. But all that beer that you bought paid that tax for that fucking road. All that uh, beer money, all the sales tax I might have spent, might have gone to a office desk or something like this. It doesn't go towards the roads. For God's sake, if it actually did go to the roads, then maybe I would actually be for it because then I would have. But what if they said you couldn't go on that road anymore? You can't drive your your truck on that road anymore. Sorry. Yeah. Well, maybe there's going to be common property in, in the near future. There is common property. It's well, called a sidewalk. It's called Union Station. It's called the library. Library, police department, schools. Uh, medical institutions, things like this. Everything should be public, right? That's a communist society. But the problem is that they can't... I mean, the roads has a different economy than, say, of a, than a hospital. You know what I mean? Things go operate differently. I mean, I see what you're saying, right. I mean, there should be some kind of common property. I mean, Union Station is not a business, it's a space. 
No, it's a business. No, yes, there's businesses. People pay money towards it, and no, they, go, there, and they there, get it, they get there are services. businesses that run out of Union Station, but the station itself is not a business. It's a space. Okay, uh, have it your way then. What do you want me to say? Seems to be. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> is it fantastic? You're just not on point today, Kevin. I'm not on point today. No, you're not. Well, because I don't That's really, disagree, I don't really disagree with the comments with the roads. I mean, it, it could be true, but like you said, I, I have this problem when you say that one single penny goes towards that library. That means every single thing from here to Washington, D.C. is paid thorough and it, it is mine because it is of that penny. It is it's yours. not. It's it is not. Yours. No, that's not true. It the is. Money, first of all, the money would never be seen, seen all the way that far across the country anyways. Right? Well, as far as Union Station, the, the funding is like every time a tax you can think of goes to Union Station. So federal money, people in other states pay for Union Station. Um, California sales tax goes for Union Station. Like every type of tax on every level pays for Union Station. Well, then let everybody go inside there. So why don't we just clear out the benches and let people sleep in there? That's cool with me. That's fine. It's cool, I, but it's not cool with the passengers to actually spend money every single day to get on the fucking train. They'll be the ones with the problem with it. They're, they're actually, the, the seating arrangement in Union Station is not that efficient and yeah. could be upgraded. They could preserve a certain section of historical seating. Because there is historical seating there and there is like a historical value to that. But some of the seating could be removed and they could put more efficient seating in there. Okay. Well. So it it's a huge fucking space. People, there's so many places people could, if they wanted people to sit there, they could, like, it's not that hard to figure out. Okay. Cool. Well, you gotta figure it out. Let's let them know. Send them a letter or something, Patty. <laughs> it should be like this. You're the writer, not me. I'm not passionate about that. I mean, it, yeah, it sucks, but there are things that work. That's not what I'm I don't know. I'm upset that I, as a paying <laughs> red line, whatever passenger, sure. can't sit down and tie my fucking shoe and eat my California rolls. Why can't you do that? Because they're afraid of homeless people. So well, if you buy a ticket, though, you're alright. No, if I buy a ticket on the red line and then I'm switching over to my other bus and I'm passing through you Union Station, they'll let you I, do that. They're no, they're they'll not. They do don't. That. My tap card isn't going to get me a seat in the station. You know, I don't know that. Did you go by? That might... Maybe they'll let you in with your tap card. Well, I'm cute and I'm white. Jesus, how many times can you say that today? <laughs> Stop it. I'll say what I want. <laughs> I'm, you don't get to control my mouth. No. My unit... No, it's true. My tap, your tap card won't get you a seat. Really? Yeah. Okay. Where's Alan at? He's on the metro right now. Probably. <laughs> hey, now if you're just tuning in, we're here in Hollywood, California. We're here at Hollywood and Vine. We're at the uh, the metro uh, station across the street from Pantages Theater. This is the the action to defend the rights to feed the homeless. And. I don't know, there's at least 100 people here. How many people would you say are here, Kevin? What? How many people? 100? About 100 people here. Um, on Facebook, they said that there would be 1,600 people coming. That means about 400 will probably show up. Um, it's probably about 4 o'clock now. Uh, it's 10 till. 10 till 4 now, so that is hella early for LA time. Normally in the action, 10 minutes before the action, there's probably three people there. So I'm really encouraged that this is going to be a really big action uh, because most people in LA show up late. 30 minutes to an hour late is typical lateness in Los Angeles. Which is one reason I know I won't start streams on time anymore. Why? Because say the action is supposed to start at 4, and then I get here at 4, and there's hardly anybody there. I won't start streaming because it's going to be hella boring.
Good. I have to. I have to. High time. It's high time. Smells like high time. <coughs> well, for a minute there, it smelled like a little acu incense. So what? You what? Right. right when you said it's high time, I'm like, I smelled some. Smell I smell some. Where'd that come from? Alright, if anybody in the orange vest tells me that, that I can't walk in the street, we're gonna have some problems. Yeah, fuck yeah. They fuck you, you get away from me, you can't tell me what to do. They, they, they usually they touch they rip me. Her, rip like, their vest off. They me. usually like touch me on the shoulder and push me. So put your hands on me and get on a base shoot. <laughs> This guy looks entertaining. Comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. Right here. Comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. What does that mean? That means whoever is, has it better off, kill them. Okay. That's what it means. Constant antagonization, uh, uh, constant torture and terror to the bourgeoisie. That's like basically anybody with a, two, like, with a one story house. Anybody who's got like running water. Uh -huh. Anybody who's got like a little couple cans of food. So it's like bourgeoisie. One, two, three, fuck the, three, three, fuck the bourgeoisie. Four, five, six, fuck the bourgeoisie. No, I don't say all that because I thought the human achievement was supposed to strive towards like middle class or at least uh, some kind of possession or something. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Why, why aren't people allowed to be free to be have a, have a two story home? I'm not against two-story houses myself. Well, that's the board house. Board house doesn't I mean, think everyone that doesn't mean the robber should have that I talk about. a two. I think that. everyone should have. A t there's enough two-story houses that we can all have one. Yeah. Who's gonna give them to? Who's gonna give them to? You? Who built them? Right. 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 Oh, look a big camera. I need a beer. Okay, you should get a beer. So much for the one that peaks in all the pictures. And I should walk around. What are you doing over there, dude? Why, dude? Are you gonna do some ninja shit? What's this guy doing? Watch out for him! You guys know what the liquor store is? Yeah. Do what? What are you doing? I think this is a march, right? It isn't a march. We should be too tired today. We'll see more now. If you guys don't get started, I'll, I'll follow along. I'm not going to have to do it. Hello, Paul.
Parsons. Great. I haven't had a beer in almost two hours. I'm going to be for a minute, guys. Hey, no, uh, sorry about the mute, guys. I was just talking a little shit, and I don't want that to be public. No, 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 nobody heard it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Jeff, how's it going? It's dropping out every few minutes? That sucks. <laughs> My stream keeps dropping. That's why I can't do a live stream. Yeah. You want to make your own sign? Not really. You have a personal message? Okay. I, I can't really carry a sign. Thanks. Oh, okay. Have one that says motorhomes to save the homeless. Yeah. I really believe in it, man. Motorhomes are going to be a good choice for a lot of people. They're cheap, they're expensive, freedom of mobility, a warm place to stay, a kitchen. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, motorhomes? That's going to be the new middle class. I really think so. I mean, what's yeah. wrong with it, anyways? Plus, it has that great sense of uh, mobility. Did you get one? I'm going to. Okay. It'll be here in a couple of years. I'm really a spectator today. I'm worn out. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm number? No, so that's not a very sad city of Los Angeles causes, criminalizes causes of hunger, not the efforts to solve it. That doesn't make sense. City of Los Angeles criminalizes. That's not right there. City of Los Angeles criminalizes causes of hunger, not the efforts to solve it. City of Los Angeles criminalizes abuses of hunger. What, what don't you understand about it? Look at City of Los Angeles. Dear uh -huh. City of Los Angeles, criminalize the causes of hunger, not the efforts to solve it. Okay. See. Yeah. Okay. So the causes of hunger, of course, it's central banking, fiat money, mm -hmm. uh, the federal government who continues to put more welfare, which destroys the complete people, it uh, causes a permanent underclass. These things happen. It's all a result of state of homelessness as a result. What happened? What? Why is that? You not you don't have a badge on you though, do you? Okay then. I, I'm over here as a spectator this evening, though. And besides, I've, I've been up here a million times before this event, and I'm okay with it. So here we go with the policing of the uh, policing of the protests. Uh, the people in the orange vest are trying to tell us where we can and cannot stand. Actually, that's counterintuitive to pull the sidewalk up. You know, uh, with that. people when there's plenty of space over here and there's people trying to walk back yeah. and forth on the sidewalk. Don't push anybody in the middle of traffic. So it's kind of like really backwards logic to say that we should all get on the sidewalk. So I believe this is Metro property here, which we own. Right, exactly. So <laughs> Now I like your line of thinking. <laughs> hello! Hello! Holler! <laughs> this, is, this isn't harming anybody, right? No, it's not. I mean, Wait, actually... Look at, look at, if, that's, if that's the way it's going to be... Actually, looking. these spiky things under my feet are kind of... They hurt a little bit. So, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. I forgot. I forgot what I was going to say, too. Hey, Crazy Ducks, what's up? I'm gonna hit me again.
Sorry about the mute, guys. Just a little private conversation. Yes. Yes, very private. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys, if you're not familiar with my stream, I do from time to time hit the mute button to have conversations which don't need the whole world hearing. <laughs> so uh, hey, now we're here at uh, Hollywood and Fine at the Metro Station. We are across the street from Pantages Theater. Uh, this event today is Defend the Right to Be the yeah, the homeless. I don't know. Um, a lot of people I know who don't have homes don't like being called homeless. Hi. Hello. How are you? They they prefer to be referred to as unhoused. <laughs> Hi. They're trying to tell us where to stand. I don't like it when there's orange vests that protest. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the orange vest people are trying to tell me I can't stand where I am on this taxpayer-funded space. So we have to be. Huh? You have to be here? That's what they said? They said we have to be on the sidewalk because that's because this is a private property here. Actually this oh. private property is taxpayer funded metro space yeah. that that we all pay taxes for. Even the homeless people pay taxes for metro. Yeah. Yeah. Have you heard about Union Station? No. They're they've roped off all the seating and you have to to sit down in Union Station you have to hold a MetroLink or an Amtrak ticket. To just be inside it? Just to sit down, to go in the roped off seating area. Oh, wow. Yeah. So me, like say I go to Fumima and get some California rolls or maybe I'm switching from the red line to my bus or something. Yeah. I, I can't sit down and tie my shoe in the station. Wow. Yeah. Even just uh, through that little area right there. Right? Yeah. To, to like uh, Alameda Street? Like yeah. Like that, that area there? Do you, you know what inside the station where those nice chairs are? Yeah. 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 It's roped off. Oh, jeez. It's like gentrification because that, like, uh, what's it called? Tracks or whatever? So, so they're trying to get get rid of the unhoused people. So that's also blowing it for everybody else. Cause yeah. Because there's that, that restaurant. Hey, what's it called? Tracks or something? Inside Union like Station? Really? Oh, I didn't know. Is that why they're trying to get, get those people out? I don't know, maybe, probably. I mean, that's mostly where the gentrification comes from. Because I've, like, I've seen a lot of people, like, sitting there, sleeping or whatever, but I don't see people causing crimes or anything. No. Yeah. They're not there. LA is relatively safe. You know, like, all these, all the areas that you would think would have high crime, like Central City East, uh, Skid Row. Yeah. It's very safe. It's like... Uh, you know, after after night, you know, some some areas are uh, scary because a lot of people have mental issues. But uh -huh. for the most part, it's it's very safe. It's just like a myth, you know. I think it is a myth that homeless people are. Hey now, nice to see you. I got like nine that I know of. How many are there? There's nine people that I know of. I don't know if we we might be carried on other channels. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, peace, everybody. Hey now. All power like to the people. An hour to get over here. Tell us about your radio thing. Oh, Occupy News Radio. It's uh, OccupyNewsRadio.org. And uh, right now I'm working with people in uh, Occupy Venice, trying to get it together to uh, be more productive. Like right now, uh, we just have information that's just repeating that we played or that we recorded before. Uh -huh. So hopefully, uh, if more people get involved, it'll be. <laughs> Are you coming tomorrow to the Skillshare? So you should tell us about that and try to get more people to help out. Yeah, I could uh, train on. Uh, I use Live 365, so I could train on how to use that software. Where can I get so, that orange vest? Do, do you want me to put you on the list of speakers? To hi. I don't know really. Oh, we're shaking hands. Oh, okay. I know. I don't usually shake hands with people. I could speak. Yeah. I think it's true. Uh, okay. I'll speak about it. All right. That'd be good. Yay. And so that's at uh, F Square uh, Printing, right? Yeah. Tomorrow, 2 o'clock? 2 o'clock tomorrow, F Square Printing, be there. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to talk about... I'll talk about the radio, uh, talk about internet streaming radio. Uh, Yay! Yeah, so it's uh, I use a, a service called Live 365. Um, it's $99 a month, so with more people, it's uh, very, very affordable. For uh, you know only, uh, they could be 24/7, and uh, um, uh, it's called no, OccupyNewsRadio.org. And uh, what the dream is is to have a full station that's doing news that's alternative to the corporate media. 
and uh, but you probably need more content on your getting the aggregate like uh, the the um, getting all the the software or I mean not all the software all the news together in a place where it could be pulled from yeah and made sure that it's fact checked and yeah everything else. It's, so yeah it's one thing one of the goals uh, of like that we need to do is to get the media coordinated yeah. so uh, for me that's what I'm hoping, um, I didn't do as much outreach to individual activist groups as I should have, but hopefully we'll get like different people from different groups. So because I'm, I think the goal is to coordinate everyone so that we can amplify each other's voices. And get all, all on the same page so that we could uh, uh, make like a single message like, like that's, that's going across. Or even if we just distribute each individual message because we're not all going to agree. True. So, I don't know, I would like, you know, to amplify the voices of radicals and reformists and, like, everybody. And I don't really want to get partisan. Yeah, it's hard not to get partisan. Like, like with the, like, I, I find myself, well, I found myself uh, putting in, like, my own opinions, my own two cents worth. And it's like, that's not good because uh, you want you want it to be the voice of the people, not, not yourself. Yeah, so. well, I'm fine with the voice of the each different group of people you know, I'm fine with that so if you you want to give your opinion and somebody else wants to give their opinion I, then there are different opinions I think we, we should hear both opinions yeah and then like put a little like uh, disclaimer in there. Occupy News Radio does I'll not support or like uh, you know like whatever views are said. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> it's like yeah, it's all good. It's the voices of the people. That's that's what we want. So and we're not all going to agree 100 percent of the time because I mean especially with 99 uh, percent of us, we're not going to agree on anything. Yeah. I mean, I'm wearing an Eagles shirt. Some cowboy fans. Well, I mean, there's a, like a lot of arguing about this event here and how this event was organized, but. But a lot of people who disagree with the organizational structure of this event showed up today yes. because they support feeding people. Yeah. 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 And even though this is yeah more from top down um, organization, I mean it is their their congregation is the. Money. Speaking of feeding people, I see somebody with hot hot. What is that? What is it? You got me a soup. What am I gonna do about it? I mean, you got me a soup. They're, you're feeding people. Right. Who got the food? Feed the people. Huh? It's gluten free? Gluten free? Sorry, apparently there's some gluten free soup being served. So, I don't know, maybe I'll walk around a little bit. That's pretty nice. The, the front is clear, so you can walk uh, through with the camera and show them from the front, like with all the signs. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I've been kind of glued to my spiky, uh, my spiky spot here. My shoes. They put. Uh, oh, thanks. Are you still streaming? Yeah, I'm just yeah, showing the, the little, <laughs> the, the spike. I love like big. Oh yeah, so this is so that, like people can't sit. Yeah, so there's spikes on here, so people can't sit. Uh, um, all of the, the planters have spikes. Yeah. There's higher planters that are kind of seat level and they all have spikes on them. So, so hey, now they're just tuning in here. We're here at the metro station at Hollywood and Vine in Hollywood, California. We're across the street from the Pantages Theater, which is, you can't see from all the signs. So I'm going to, uh, no thanks, I'm going to, um, um, no thanks right now, I'm good. So I'm gonna walk around so you guys can see, like, from the front view, uh, all the uh, the beautiful people today. <laughs> so, does anybody need a sign? Anybody need a sign? Okay. 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 I hope we win. Yeah, we will. We will. So, 
PB and J, so good. They're criminal. Nice. Compassion is not a crime. Food is life.
Sidewalk. Yeah, I can't see that from the sidewalk. I know, but you have to see on the sidewalk. But you can see that it's perfectly safe for me to stand. No, it's perfectly safe for me to stand right there. No car is going to hit me because you're a robot. You're telling me that because you're a robot. You're telling me that because you're a robot. It's not about safety. It's about being a robot. It is about safety. No, because you're standing there, the cars are not going to hit me if I'm standing two feet off the sidewalk. That's bullshit, you're a robot. That was always in the mind, bro. Sharon is caring. Sharon is caring. Sharon is caring. Sharon is caring.